And finally, like snowboarding in the mountains, sandboarding in the desert is becoming a fast growing extreme sport, especially at the sand dunes alongside the Sea of Cortez, just southwest of our Arizona Sonora border. And get this, a former FC Tucson soccer player and co-owner also traveled just outside of Hermosillo to take part in sandboarding in the Sonoran Desert on the land of the Cetis. In the heart of the land of the Native American tribe known in Sonora as the Cetis, song and dance at night turns to fun and play during the day. Less than an hour drive from Hermosillo, Mexico, scores of outdoor extremists, including former FC Tucson soccer player Josue Enriquez, take part in the sport of sandwood. Being a different country and explore their culture, explore this land and explore what they have to offer to us. The Sadis are known as people of the desert and sea, and this sport on their native land has elements of both. In this case, it's getting on a snowboard, but instead of sliding down ice, it's sand and desert dunes overlooking the sea of Cortez. Came out here and they're like, let's go sandboarding. I'm like, all right, let's do this. This is an amazing place, Kino Bay. Ampha High School and U of A grad Dimitri Downing is one of the co-founders of FC Tucson, and he also tried his hand at sandboarding. FC Tucson was a good project, and now we have a FC Tucson connection here, snow, uh, not snowboarding, uh, sandboarding in uh, Kino Bay in Mexico. I never thought this would happen. But it did. With breathtaking views of beautiful Sonoran sunsets and the ocean as a whole, it might lull you into an easiness that makes you forget that just like snowboarding, there are times you could fall flat on your fan. I mean, although I've never gone down a hill this steep before. Well, there's a first time for everything. Not just him, but me. Yes, I tried as well. Before the selfies and social media pics, it was time to get serious and sweaty. I don't have the guts that many others do, so I think I'm just gonna try my hand at sitting on the board and, and instead. I keep wanting to say snowboard, but it's actually, I guess, a sandboard. Here we go. This was my view sliding down a 50 yard hill of sand. And in the end, I lost my momentum and got stuck. But I admit it, I still made it to the water. In my case, I just picked up the board, slid and walked down and jumped into the Sea of Cortez myself. Just getting wet, wetting my appetite for an extreme sport. Just a few hours drive from Tucson. And maybe you can flip the script. Try this sport as well. It is actually really cool. Cool to also take in a little culture at the same time as the beat goes on and the sandboards in the land of the Cetis slip, slither, and slide. Sonoran style. And there will most likely be a lot more, uh, I was about to say snowboarders, Sandboarders this weekend over Memorial Day weekend. Of course, Hermosillo has their Festival de Petit. It's an arts and music festival. We'll be right back.